Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on exchange rates. So firstly, what is an exchange rate? Well, an exchange rate is defined as being the value of one currency against another. So how much, say, the pound is worth in dollars or how much the dollar is worth in euros, how they value against each other. So an exchange rate is the value of one currency against another currency. And we have an example of an exchange rate here. So one pound is equivalent to the same value as $1.20. So this is how much the value of the pound is against the value of the dollar. So how much the value of one currency is against the value of another. Now the next thing you need to know about exchange rates is that we have two types of exchange rate system. Firstly, we have a fixed exchange rate system, and this is where the value of one currency is fixed against another, so it cannot change. So if we use our example from just a second ago, the British and American governments would agree that one pound would equal $1.20, and this cannot change at all. And next we have a floating exchange rate system, and this is the opposite of a fixed exchange rate system, where the value of one currency can change against another. So they will change all the time depending on market conditions. So one day one pound equal, might equal $1.20, but the next day one pound might equal $1.45. And in the rest of all of our exchange rate videos, we should be assuming that a floating exchange rate system is in place. But before we move on, you may have heard the terms strong exchange rate and weak exchange rate. Well, what do they actually mean? Well, a strong exchange rate is when you can buy more foreign currency for one unit of domestic currency. So for example, one pound, or one unit of domestic currency, equals two dollars. We can buy more foreign currency, more dollars than pounds. And a weak exchange rate is when we can buy less foreign currency for one unit of domestic currency. So for example, in this case, one pound, one unit of domestic currency equals 50 cent or zero euros 50. So less foreign currency. Now, strong exchange rates and weak exchange rates are fairly significant in terms of exports and imports. And that's what I'm going to explain just now. So if we have a strong exchange rate, let's use our example of one pound equals $2. That means that as British people, we can buy more American goods for cheaper. So for every one pound's worth of stuff we could buy in Britain, we can now buy $2 worth of stuff in the USA. So say, for example, we were looking at a pack of pens, and let's say our pack of pens costs one pound in Britain and one dollar in America. If I had one pound, in Britain I could buy one pack of pens, one pound, one pound pack of pens. But if I were to import those pens from America, I could buy two packets of pens with my pound, because one pound equals two dollars. So therefore, I can get $2 worth of packets of pens, and that's two packets. So therefore, as a British person, it's cheaper for me to buy American goods than it is to buy British goods. So therefore, I am more likely to import these goods from America than buy them from Britain. So therefore, imports into Britain will increase, and exports out of Britain will decrease, because it's more expensive for Americans to buy British goods. So say, for example, using the pen example, if an American has $2, they can buy two packets of American pens. But because $2 only equals one pound, they could only buy one packet of British pens. So therefore, they won't import as much British stuff. So therefore, Britain won't export as much. So if we have a strong exchange rate, imports will be high and exports will be low. However, with a weak exchange rate, everything works the opposite way round. So say, for example, this time we are discussing packets of pencils. And to buy a packet of pencils in Britain, it will cost you one pound. And to buy a packet of pencils in France, it will cost you one euro. So if I were in Britain with a pound, I could buy one packet of British pencils. 
However, if I wanted to import them from France, I could only get half a packet of pencils because one pound is only equal to zero euros fifty. So therefore, zero euros fifty will only get me half a packet of pencils because a whole packet costs one euro. So therefore, Britain will not import as much. Imports will be lower. In fact, it will actually export more because it's cheaper in this case for somebody in France to buy British goods than to buy French goods. So for example, using the pencil example, if I have one euro in France, I can buy one I can buy one packet of pencils. However, if I have one euro in France, I could also buy two packets of British pencils because one euro in France would be equal to two pounds because of our exchange rate. So therefore, in France, I'm more likely to buy British goods and import them rather than buy French pencils. So if there is a weak exchange rate, imports will be low and exports will be high. And finally, we just need to know that if there is a rise in the exchange rate, so if our exchange rate gets stronger, this is known as appreciation. There is an appreciation of the exchange rate. And if there is a fall in the exchange rate, so our exchange rate gets weaker, then this is known as depreciation, a depreciation in the exchange rate.